What's up guys, it is HeyChickaBomb1 here, and today I'm doing an hour of power Skyrim walkthrough, although it's most likely going to be divided up into little parts, and anyway, I do apologize if the quality is not the best, because, of course, it is the 360 version, recorded with the Roxio, I'm trying to do my best with all the color correction settings, and yeah. Hopefully I have enough space left on my hard drive for this entire thing. But may if I don't have enough, I may not end up doing an hour of power walkthrough. More likely, uh, just a Skyrim walkthrough. But yeah, let's get it on. Okay, I'll step forward. Who are you? I am going to make myself Imperial uh, hmm. That was not very Imperial for me I will make my guy Redneck <laughs> Anyway Oh yeah, look at that guy. That looks pretty cool. What one am I gonna go? Yeah, that looks sweet. There we go. Alright, so that's my guy. Alright, we made him cold toast. Yeah, I'm not on this. Let me go. You let your Imperial brother go. Can't wait to kill you. Only joking. I don't want to follow. I don't belong here. All these guys are Nords. I'm an Imperial. I don't belong here. Yes, he does. <clears throat> the fuck's that? Well, just because it's too gory, I had to look away. <clears throat> Sorry, got a bad cough. No, I didn't hear that. So be it. Walk into the block, walk into the block, walk into the block, nice axe, horse's butthole, random, go. oh yummy, look yummy head. Thank you. No! No, 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 no! No! 
No, don't get the townspeople to safety. Get me to safety. Come on, I want to go somewhere. This is boring. Where are we going? Oh, I can't see a thing. Out of my way, dickhead. Get out of my damn way! Right, so you gotta, as fast as you can, run up here. But beware of the dragon. Then you jump and land down into this house. And because you can't search the barrels or anything because your hands are bound, you just drop down here. Wait for the dragon to go here and we have to follow this guy. Alright. So as you see, you just run and then make sure to stick to the wall. Because shit happens around here. Alright, and then you see... Alright, so that guy's being scorched. Now you have two options, you can go into the doorway, or you can, well this big doorway or the small doorway. It really depends if you want to fight Imperials or Stormcloaks. Um, if you want good armor though, uh, I recommend you go with that guy, but just for the sake of this. Alright, now if you've gone with the guy that I have, you go with the Imperials and you're fighting Stormcloaks which have really weak armor. Um, but if you go with the Stormcloak guy, you can end up picking up really good armor, but it's a tougher fight. But either way, when you walk into starting group, you're going to get armor and stuff like that. So I would recommend going with the Imperial Soldier, as I just find it easier. <clears throat> and you just got to wait for him to hurry up and get wherever he is. Yes. Yes, cut my bindings off. Alright. You just open the warden's chest. And also, it's also good just look around in any of these chests. Because there's usually stuff. And... Mm, that's pretty much it. Also a weapon rack here. So afterwards, um, you can dual wield iron swords or you can do this. Now this is what I like to do. Right, so I have an iron sword in one hand and flames in the other, like this. And because he's friendly, just continue to shoot this at him. Because he won't die until you get out of the cave area. And whilst you're doing that, you're actually leveling up your, um, destruction skill. Now, that guy has a sweet battle axe, but I recommend using one-handed unless you like being a barbarian and just going and killing everyone. Uh, so as you see, there's some Stormcloak equipment and all right so that's the way you would have come in but um there's also a few cabbages down here and you can kick that and whatnot uh, as you see just keep doing that and you should be leveling up so that's caves in so you don't have to end up fighting those storm cloaks which is sort of good And you just want to make sure you get a few swings in here. And if they ever go down like that, 
Just use your fire from a distance to take him out. And um, you can come over to this desk here. Salt, which is really valuable, as well as a few potions and some wine. And there's some food around here as well as the rabbits and stuff. Uh, you walk over here and search this barrel for potions. You can also go up here and look. Uh, well, there's not really much there, but once again, potion of healing and a salt pile over here, which is a good find. And this is one of the best places. You want to make sure to come down here and try to save the torturer's assistant. And um, you go back here, there's an iron mace and an iron shield. As well, there is some lockpicks, an iron dagger. Then you got a book which is worth, um, well, to start off, it's worth quite a bit. And then inside here, Knapsack. Alright, now you must try to unlock this door. And you might not get it on your first time, but just follow. Yes, we do. And rounds in some of these there's going to be some potions and stuff. Like in this one. Alright, so there's a coin purse as well as a skeleton with some bone meal in it. Might as well take that because it's a, an ingredient. And if you eat it, it also levels up your alchemy skills and shit like that. So there's a few people around here. Um... Not really much. Skeletons always will have bone meal, but you can also find some gold on them. <clears throat> then you want to continue down there. And all right. Now you want to make sure you just take that guy or chick down a bit, and just get back over here to where the archers are. Just set that on fire. Should help take him out. But if you ever find yourself being pummeled like I am, just fall back and let your teammates do the work for you. See, like here. Now, there's not going to be much on these guys, but the archers are a bit annoying. So, taking them out should be one of your main priorities. Plus, they have some useful equipment. Always make sure to pick up arrows off people because they don't weigh anything and you can sell them. I just want to wait for these guys to catch up a bit right here. As you see, they do. They are a bit stupid and they do get stuck. Alright. Now down here. You also want to keep an eye out for any treasure. For example, you can go back up this way and coin purse, potion of healing, and some gold. Now you can't go that way down there, but make sure also coin purse and you can't check the skeleton's body for anything. But we coming up to this part, there is some spiders. Now just watch because some do drop from the ceiling and they spit poison. But if you just do what I do, just spray with the fire. See, when I started off my disruption skill was 15, but now it's gone up to 22. Now you want to make sure you search every spider. 
because they do have frostbite venom in it and if you're a low level like this they are quite an effective poison you can also uh, shoot this down and look inside there's Skiva tail and also inside the egg sacs there are some spider eggs which I don't really use but they can be worth something alright so coming up to this part down here um, beware there is a bear up around that area as you would know if you've played it before but um just want to come up here and sometimes there are items sometimes there aren't I think it depends what character you're playing as but also up here there's some alto wine which is worth quite a bit as well as a coin purse which you can easily just kick down here if it's annoying like it is then also just get back up some Nord Mead and an Iron Helmet well some Black Briar Mead sorry another thing you can do is equip your longbow as well as and make sure you go into sneak position just fire off as many arrows as you can and like that there you might be lucky and get an executing kill on someone well the bear and take its claws and its pelt you may not be able to get your arrows back you may it really depends but that's that part done and pretty simple but once you get out here if you attack that guy um, of course he will fight back and it is actually better um, for well to follow the Imperial guy because when you get back well you can get to the next town Rorik's dead um, depending who you followed determines which items you get 